day everyone, I am Sir Alcris Smith. Welcome to my channel where fun and learning really do exist. Kung bago kayo sa akin channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, hit the bell para laging updated sa aking mga videos, i-like, share nyo na rin sa mga friends nyo, and mag-comment na rin kayo. So now, let's begin! Today, we will discuss about causes of plate movement, the Earth's mechanism. We already know that Earth has a layer called the lithosphere, a layer composed of the crust and the upper mantle. Earth's lithosphere is broken into numerous segments called tectonic plates. Next to lithosphere is the layer called a stenosphere. A soft, weak upper portion of the mantle where the lithospheric plates float and move around. Each plate moves slowly but constantly in different directions. That's why we have the different types of plate boundaries. The first type is the divergent plate boundary where plates move apart. Because of that divergence, these geological features, events, and processes will be observed along the divergent plate boundaries. Another plate is transform fold boundary where plates slide past each other. The best example geologic feature along transform fold boundary is the San Andreas Fold located in Los Angeles, USA. The two plates move at a rate of 2 inches per year. And the last type of plate boundary is the convergent plate boundary where plates move towards each other. Convergence of two plates may be between continental and oceanic, two oceanic plates, or two continental plates. Volcanoes, trenches, mountains are some of the geologic features along convergent plate boundaries. If the plates are moving, what causes them to move? This is the question that we will answer in this video. Based from the picture, what do you think are the causes of plate movement? Three of the forces that have been proposed as the main drivers of tectonic plate movements are the following. We have the convection current in the mantle. The ridge push and the slab pull. And how do we explain each of them? Let's begin with the convection current in the mantle. Convection current occurs when a heated fluid expands, becoming less dense and rises. The fluid then cools and contracts becoming more dense and sinks. Inside of the earth, magma is heated near the core, rises toward the crust, then cools and sinks back toward the core. It is thought that this motion is responsible for the movement of the lithospheric plates. And now, how does ridge push move tectonic plates? Ridge push happens at spreading centers where plates are moving apart. Just remember the different geologic events and processes happening in divergent plate boundary. New parts of a plate rise because they are warm and the plate is thin. As hot magma rises to the surface at spreading ridges and forms new crust, the new crust pushes the rest of a plate out of its way. This is called ridge push. At the end of the diverging plate, it collides to another plate and subduction process occurs. Another force that drives the plate movement is the slab pull. Just remember the different geologic processes and events that happen in convergent plate boundaries between denser oceanic plate and another plate. 
Slab pool is the part of the motion of a tectonic plate caused by its subduction. It is the force exerted by a dense oceanic plate sinking into the mantle at a convergent plate boundary. Also, it is a key force acting on plate motion because it has been proven to greatly affect the velocity of a plate. And there you go! We have the three of the forces that have been proposed as the main drivers of tectonic plate movements. Again, they are the convection current in the mantle, the ridge push, and the slab pull. They are the causes of tectonic plate movements. I hope you have learned something from me. That's all for now. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.